Defence at sea in the 70s. We've come a long way since the days when battleships tried to get close enough to blow each other out of the water. Now the Navy has eyes and ears that go far beyond the horizon. Radar. My name's John Fox. That's me on the left. HMS Dryad is a naval shore station and it's where I learned to be one of the Royal Navy's radar operators. I'm on active service now, but this is where it all began. A normal video game picture. If there are no more questions on the JDA display control panels, I'd like you all now to sit around the display and switch the uh, display on, calibrate it for 20 mile range, 5 mile current. Navy jargon's like any other. It means something when you know what it means. And when you know what it means, you can't do without it. Contact 18, that is Scum 31, report. Contact 27515, that is Scum 32, report. Scum 30, 061, 17 miles. Scum 31, 181, 17, five, five. When you start, you're called a radar plot basic. You're learning the fundamentals of radar and operations room technique. I'd been in the Navy only a matter of months when I came to Dryad. At 17 and a half, I was earning more than most of my mates in Civvy Street. ...of the spherical buoy from the North East Pier at Stranra. You will use the range scale underneath the title of your chart. It's done in cables, I want it in cables and in feet. It's in the middle of the Hampshire countryside, but like the other naval shore stations, HMS Dryad is run like a ship at sea and the job you're training for is one of the most important there is in a fighting ship. Once we understood the theory of range and bearing we were involved in the real work of controlling the movements of ships and aircraft. This is how we learnt that the radar operator can be another pair of eyes to help a chopper pilot see far beyond his normal vision. Look out for two fixed wing in your area operating at 5,000 feet and two big dippers operating at 150 feet, five miles ahead of you. Over. Tango Alpha X-ray Mike, this is windmill 827. Roger your message about fixed and road race. 827 out. Much of the school's radar training network is computerized. It means theoretical movements of ships can be made up into a program, fed into the computer and reproduced on a radar screen as the real thing. In fact, not only the course of one ship can be mocked up, but a whole fleet can be put on punched tape and a huge sea exercise run through to the smallest detail. This is the simulated ops room of the frigate Lowestoft. We're still ashore, but for the purpose of the exercise and my training, it was low stopped. The training exercises weren't all on a prearranged computer tape. We had to coordinate a difficult manoeuvre with the aircraft carrier Ark Royal Arc and the guided Royal. missile destroyer Devonshire. What is your heading? Over. The ops room team of low stuff could alter course and that too would register on the radar screens in the next building, the ops room of Ark Royal. Even though it was all in theory, I was beginning to understand just how realistic and exciting this way of learning really is. Because it was a mock-up, I couldn't make the kind of mistake that would cost millions of pounds. 
but I did get a taste for the real thing. Every time anyone in navigation and radar joins a new ship, they go to Dryad first, where they can simulate the ops rooms of most ships of the fleet. Cap station two, take bogey 3301, low staff control, over. Now I'm aboard one of the Navy ships as a fully trained radar operator. It's a worthwhile and responsible job with a future. And I'm an important part of a team that has to be with it all the time in today's Navy. Mm -hmm. 